Good morning. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video so I can introduce some products that um, I recently started selling. Um, my mom and her friends got me into it um, because my mom got me using the products like a year and a half ago. I love them and I use a lot of them so I said why not. Um, I'm new to this so I figured the best way to introduce some products that you can you know purchase from me is by just showing you what I use to start and I'll just kind of go from there so I am going to start out with my skincare routine and go into putting on makeup um, my friends Karen and Don are coming to pick me up and we're going to over Wisconsin if you're from southeastern Wisconsin you know what I'm talking about so I'm really excited. I haven't been there in a long time and it's early in the morning. I'm going to get up, get ready, get pretty because I never do anything. So I guess I'm just going to start by excuse me, using my Lumi Spa. Um, this is one of our products. I love it. Um, I have really sensitive skin. It turns red really easy. This cleans my skin, does not tear it up, um, gets my makeup off so easy. I don't have any makeup to on right now to get off, but I'm going to wash my face because that's what you do in the morning. Um, it also comes with a cleanser if you buy that. I ran out of my cleanser, so I'm just using some good old CeraVe. And I'm just gonna get my face a little wet. Um, that's waterproof too, the Lumi Spa, so I, um, for the most part, keep it in the shower, but for the sake of there's a video. I really don't feel like bringing my phone in the shower. I think it's weird. So I'm just gonna put some cleanser on my face. Wash it off my hands. Okay, so I just turn it on and it goes, I wanna say it's timed. It's like the whole cycle, it goes in like quadrants. It goes one, two, three, four, and it's timed. You'll feel it like buzz when it's time to switch on your face, so. That's how I know like when I'm supposed to be switching. And um, I haven't had any like, well I've had lip fillers. I haven't had any other fillers in my face. Um, but my younger cousin actually recently asked me if I had Botox, which I have not yet. I don't know if I will, but I'm open to it. Um, I noticed a really big difference in my mom's skin when she started using this and all of her friends are like, I'm not saying like they're old or anything, but they're older than me and they have great skin. So that's what made me start to use this and my mom gave it to me for free of course because she loves me. So I'm just going to go through my whole face. I've already showered and um, brushed my teeth. Oh, it'll like tell you if you're pushing too hard. It'll like stop you, tell you to knock it off. Um, I already showered and I always brush my teeth in the shower too. I cannot get away from that. I don't know why. But this is the whitening toothpaste. This is the first product I have inventory of and sell because this is the first new skin product I've ever used and I love it because um, I have really sensitive teeth. I cannot use regular whitening stuff and this has no peroxide, no bleach um, and it does not make my teeth sensitive. I can use it twice a day. I notice a difference and I'm um, that's like my favorite product. Uh, I don't use all of them all the time. Besides, we're just gonna stop there. I'm gonna edit this video. Okay, I'm gonna rinse. Okay, I'm back. I know I look different. Um, uh, I washed off my cleanser and I put on this face mask. Also, it's my dryer. Sunday I have to do laundry um also one of the lines that we have is called epoch epoch 
I don't know. But um, this face mask I actually stole from my mom. Hi, mom. I did not purchase this myself. She came to spend the night at my house and left it here. So I just decided not to tell her that it was here. And I've been using it. I love it. I like face masks that get really, really, really tight. And um, I just feel like it's doing something. And this does that for me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Thanks, mom. And this is just something I've been using um, probably like twice a week. Love it. And I will have to purchase my own once this runs out, I guess. So I'm just going to let this get hard and get all tight. Maybe it'll be funny once it's tight if I try to talk. But I'm just going to sit around, drink some coffee, let that get tight, and wash it off. And then I will start doing all the fun stuff like makeup and stuff. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and got that mask off my face. And toned I use um witch hazel like the Dickinson's witch hazel that's what I always use on my face I'm going to this is a AHA facial peel I just started using this I was using something else that I had forever from Labrie to like get dead skin off um this seems to be working fine they're like little pads there's a step one and two so this is a step one so you basically just rub this on your face after you wash and tone your face. I like to wear foundation a lot, so I like um, my face to be really smooth. And it tingles, it feels good. Not like really bad or anything. Just wipe this on. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna let it dry. And then the step two is, um, oh, I'm supposed to put this on my neck too, by the way. I always just go right here, but you can put it on your neck. I guess you're supposed to treat your neck like your face because it ages just like your face. But um, this is the step two. It's a neutralizer, so you'll kind of feel like a burning from the first pad. And again, this is new skin stuff. Um, I can also hook you up with this. But this is a neutralizer to help like soothe after the harsh pad. And I kind of just let that soak in for a little bit. Clean up here. I'm trying to like hurry because I've been kind of lounging a little bit too much this morning. But it's like my only day off work, so I can't really beat myself up. Okay. I think I'm dry enough. Good enough. And then you just go about your normal, like, um, moisturizing. This is another one of our products I use on my eyes, around my eye area. For some reason, I have, like, this one, like, weird lazy eye that I'm trying to, like, get the skin to tighten up. Maybe I should stop, like using this one up here and this one down here. I don't know. But um, I just recently started using eye creams like a year ago and I love them. Um, my makeup underneath doesn't crease as much and they just all around look more awake and better. So I just put a little bit on like that. And actually right now, if um, you purchase toothpaste from me, I am giving out free samples of this eye cream and our body butter as well, which I will show in a second. So I just put that on before my moisturizer. I'm gonna be outside today and even though it's cloudy, I like to put on um, SPF. So I either use fifth, this one, which is 15, the L'Oreal Age Perfect, or I use CeraVe, which is 30, if it's like really sunny out. But it's cloudy, so I don't feel like I need that much. So I'm just gonna put on some of this on my face and neck because I have porcelain white skin. And I will fry up like a lobster. So I'm just gonna put this on. One thing I don't like about wearing SPF is um, I have to let it soak in before I put my makeup on. So in the morning when I'm like rushing for work, 
Sometimes I just skip makeup because I'm still letting my SPF soak in, even though I'm inside all day. I don't know why I care. Um, but it'll start like beating up and getting like white little things if you don't rub it in good enough or let it soak in. So that's the one thing I don't like about SPF, but we need it, I guess, so we don't look old. Well, shriveled up. Okay. So while I'm letting that soak in, I just put on some chapstick, any chapstick. Should I decide to wear a lipstick later, which I should because, again, it's my day off. I overdo it. Um, oh, also, if I wasn't putting on makeup and I was just being um, lazy, and going to work or doing anything. Um, we also have a a self tanning gel. This stuff like inst like other self tanners, you know, it takes a while to um, get develop the color or whatever. This doesn't, it's instant and it even has like these little gold flecks in it that just, you rub it in really good and you just leave it and you look like you are tan. So if I am not putting on makeup, but I don't wanna look like a ghost, I'll rub this on my chest and my face and I feel perfectly fine without wearing makeup. Um, so this is another one. I'm not gonna use it today because again, I'm outside, I wanna put on SPF. And, um, or if I decide to wear shorts, I'll put this on my legs because they're pretty white. All right, moving right along. I am going to, I have this like set up, but I don't, I don't know if you can see that. I don't have my mirror high enough. So I'm gonna end up moving that like little shelf thing over there and putting the mirror on there. But the boyfriend wants to anchor it down so I'm not having any um, tragedies. So I'm just using this little mirror. If you see me like looking down, I got this off Amazon. I actually got most of the stuff in here off Amazon. Besides my cabinet behind me, I got that from Ikea. It's actually a bookshelf. So this just lights up. You can um, change whatever. I don't know if you can see that, but it changes like hues, colors, whatever. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna try to like put it by the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I always start out with primer. I have a, all types of different makeup. I grab different stuff all the time. Um, I use a Lorac. Honestly, I. I wouldn't buy a brand that was this expensive. I get it from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is amazing. I find like MAC stuff. I find Lorac. Um, I find Too Faced, all types of different like expensive makeup brands. I find it TJ Maxx. My favorite um, bronzer for like right here to like slim out my chubby face is um, Bare Minerals from TJ Maxx. Thank you. So this is just like an illuminating primer. Honestly, I just use it to keep my makeup stuck and not moving around. Um, which foundation do I want to use? I have my bag. I have different foundations too. This number seven, Stay Perfect. I love it. It's like lightweight. Please be quiet. It's lightweight and um, after a while, it's just your makeup looks so perfect. It's a little dark for me, so I'm gonna have to do some uh, shading on my neck, I think, because I am not tan whatsoever. And I just kind of put it everywhere. And I am going to wash my hands and get my um, beauty blender wet. Okay, I'm back. Um, all I did was just beat my face with this over and over until it looks like my skin, but only a little better. Um, and I kind of like take what's ever left and go up and down my neck to just make it look natural, I guess. Um, I have been using, I've been couponing lately. Uh, I know it's kind of nerdy of me, especially cause I live alone and I don't have kids and, but I, I have been stockpiling stuff and I've been getting stuff for free and it's really addicting. Um, but 
couponing, I found this face powder that I absolutely love. And I went back because I found another really good deal at CVS that got it for me for almost free. So this is my new favorite, CoverGirl um, Fair. It's not really fair because I'm fair and this is pretty, pretty damn. Um, so I just set my foundation with powder because otherwise it creases looks weird moves around i don't know if there is anybody who doesn't set oh i can use my phone who doesn't set their uh liquid foundation with powder um and like gets away with it like does your makeup not move or what um before i was using the fit me powder I've been using that for ever. Um, I don't really branch out too much unless of course it's on sale or it's recommended. Um, I watch videos like this for other people um, to see what they use and see, and I kind of rinsed down my neck too, to see what they use. Um, Cause you don't know, like there's so much makeup out there. You don't know what's good unless somebody recommends something or you stumble upon it. So I really don't like spending a lot of money on makeup and then you end up not liking it. It's like, well, it just sits there and gets old. So I'm just setting so I'm not shiny and stuff's not moving around. I really should have uh, done my hair first, blow dried it and stuff like this hair is going to be like slicked back and freaking weird looking. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But I guess with this thing in my hair, you can actually like see what I'm doing. There's not stuff in my face. Um, right here, it always creases. So before I put powder on there, I just tap, blend it in. And then I go like this and then I pull because you'll get little lines on the inner corner. There we go. Same one. Sorry if you hear my cat. Um, when I'm getting ready in this room, I call it my makeup room. Um, she associates it with me leaving and she does not like that. And she starts crying, walking around me, crying, rubbing up against my legs. So that probably won't stop just so you know. Okay, I think I'm pretty well set. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go in with that Bare Minerals bronzer I was telling you about that I got for dirt cheap at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Was it Marshalls? I don't know. One of the two. I love them both. Um, I just get some on the brush. I look down, kind of like start getting it in there get rid of my chubby face we used to like put our brows like down here you know but now if you do it up here it makes your face look like more lifted see that side versus that side fat face best friend okay go like this Much better and then I take some up here make your forehead look smaller no one wants a big board for a forehead I should really wash my makeup brushes more often but I don't and um, my friend Tule, she's actually going to help me edit these videos because I'm not good at this. Um, she told me you can just like put a glass of warm water with some like dish soap in it and leave it all day. And then when you come home and you rinse them, like all the stuff will come out. This is for getting rid of all your like double chin business. Um, which is good for 
girls like me with the rounder faces. Um, but yeah, Tuli told me I can just toss them in some soapy like water in a glass all day and then come home and just rinse them without like rubbing on them and stuff like that. So I'm gonna probably do that before I leave the house today because they are probably just spreading bacteria all over my face at this point. Um, also, Tule makes eyelashes. Not only does she, she's good at editing videos and she does her own YouTube videos, she's a cook. Um, she also makes her own eyelashes. So I was trying to get a pair quick enough to do this video this morning, but um, she didn't have any made, so it would have taken her a while. So next time, next time I have time to do a video like this, I am going to get two lace eyelashes and try to put them on. I have not put on eyelashes in a very long time, so it'll probably be pretty funny. Um, I'll probably look like a hot mess, but I will Okay, next product. If I am in a rush like I am now, I um, use, this is also from New Skin. I don't know if you can see that. It is called New Color, and these are bronzing pearls. Um, normally, if I have time, I'll do like, which is never, I'll do um, blush and then highlighter, but I like products like this that I don't have to do both. I can just do one and like kind of keep it up here, and it looks like a blush, highlighter, bronzer. It just gives you really good color. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see them. They're like these little pearls. So I'm trying to hurry it up today. This we also saw. Actually, you know what? I got to check in with my mom. I don't know if these like went away or if they're back. Or I remember her saying something along those lines. So I'll check in with her and see if I can't still get these. But they last forever. I mean, I don't ever see these go down. So I just kind of dip my brush in there. And then I focus it up here. Just for some color, pinky, bronzy color. Okay. And again, remember when we used to like put our blush right here? What was that for? I like keep it up here. So it's like natural looking. I'm trying not to look too done up because uh, again, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. And then I take what's ever left on my blush brush and just boop. There. If I was like really getting into it, I would like contour my nose and just all types of crazy stuff, but I'm just not into it right now. Um, so after I do all this powder nonsense, I like to take Q-tips. I got these cute things off Amazon. They come with little labels and little jars. I take two Q-tips. I have my eyebrows microbladed. And if you get like powder um, in them, you can't tell right now. They look like blue and weird. And so I just try to get the powder off. I just take some um, makeup remover, get them on a Q-tip, and just kind of go over my eyebrows like so. I can't believe I'm actually like, doing um, a video for like, I was talking to Tule, I probably put this on um, YouTube and like put a link on my Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Um, I need to branch out if I'm going to be successful at selling these products and I need to like put myself out there. I'm not very good at this. So hopefully this doesn't flop. I don't know where I was going with that. But I'm just going to focus on getting this powder out of my eyebrows. I might not even do my eyebrows. Like I'll put um, darker powder, like fill them in a little bit, but I kind of don't feel like it. I'm digging like the, just like this, it's fine, I think. Um, but from doing that, 
I get like this line. I don't know if you can see that. If I'm not like perfect on the eyebrow. So I'll just pat my beauty blender around there to like not have this harsh white line around my eyebrows. Excuse me if I keep sniffling when I'm looking down. I snot and stuff. Okay, that's gross. I'll shut up. Okay. Face done. Um. So again, since it's only eight in the morning, I'm gonna try to keep the uh, eyes to a muted look. Oh, I like that one. There we go. This is my favorite for like in my crease. Um, it looks dark right here, but you'll see when I put it on. Not that bad. Um, it's from L'Oreal. It's just one of these single. And I, um, it's a matte color. I like matte. I only use shimmer in my highlighters and in my inner corner. Or sometimes on my, um, sometimes on my eyelids, but very rarely. So I'm just trying to like shape my eye a little bit. I blend it in. I don't like harsh lines on my makeup. A little bit of depth. So this is probably the darkest it's going to get today on my eyes. I don't know if you can see that. I have like one of those ring lights with better lighting. Um, I'm just very new to that and I don't, I don't have time to be like messing around with it today. So I'll like try to figure it out, master it, and um, see if it looks better like lighting wise. Okay, that looks fine for some depth. And then I'll just take that and go the little brush underneath my eyes. And I kind of use it as like an eyeliner. What I like about using um, powder is that you don't have to be so precise. It just kind of all blends together. I don't know if you can see that. I should probably clean it up a little bit down here. And then I'll just take like a fluffy brush that doesn't have anything on it just to sweep away any thing that may have fallen out but I do need a little bit of life on my eyes so I'm going to um, this is an Urban Decay Naked Palette I want to say I got this for Christmas like two years ago um, I'm just going to take some like light shade and kind of dust it on my eyelids to make it um make some contrast here it's like a nude color And then there's this shimmery color. I'm not even going to show you because you can't even tell the difference. I'm just going to take a bunch of that and just kind of like this on my inner corner. And again, I'm just going like to do an outdoorsy kind of thing. So I'm not going to like get all glammed up and stuff even though i do like them um and then i just take a dark this is auto bomb i got it from an ipsy subscription i love it it's just like this dark brown and i take it and just kind of put it along my lash line to um make my eyelashes look thicker
So just to make them look thick. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more dust off. I got some eye. And once I got all the powder like laid down, I take the MAC Fix It and I set my makeup. So then I let that dry. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna put on my mascara. I'm not going to bore you with sitting here like putting on mascara. So I'll come back and I'm also going to blow dry my hair, maybe straighten it. And um, yeah, that should be it. Maybe I'll show you what I'm gonna wear to Old Rose, Wisconsin. And maybe I'll put on some lipstick or some lip liner and stuff, that's fun. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did my hair, I blow dried it, straightened it a little bit, not too crazy, but um, I'm not sure what the humidity is gonna be like today. I put some mascara on, some just lip balm that has color. I'll show you what outfit I decided on because you know that takes forever. If I can switch this around, I don't know how. I don't know how to use this. Okay, let me switch it around. Okay, there we it. go. This is what I decided on. Um, I picked these pants because they're really comfortable. They don't constrict me in any way. And a little white t-shirt because it's summer and you can wear white. Some sandals that won't fall off my feet. And I did like silver accent. I got these for Valentine's Day. Probably the fanciest thing I own. And some like little knuckle rings. Um, I never paint my nails because of work. I can't. And I got the little silver accent on my sandals. They're black. They don't really match that well. But again, I don't want them to fall off. So one more thing. Sorry, I am totally made a disaster out of this room. Um, one more thing. Let me find it right here. Um, this is the body butter that we sell. Um, it is awesome. I, if I were wearing shorts today, I would have put these on my legs. But instead, I put something else I'll show you on them. Um, but I put these on my arms. I put it on like my chest a little bit. It keeps bugs away. It makes your skin so soft. And if I were to get sunburn, I would put this on it. It would make it better in less than half the time. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I'm going to be picking up a salon pack of this to sell, but I haven't yet. Um, this is what I put on like my thighs and my stomach. It like helps with, um, like loose skin body contouring lotion. Um, I have another one that I use with like this machine. Um, but this helps like my skin look tighter than what it was and yada, yada, yada. So I put that on the rest of my body, but my exposed parts, I put the epoch on. Okay. So that's it for today. I am going to Try to clean this up a little bit and Karen and Don will be here any minute and we will be going to Oboe, Wisconsin. I'm so excited. So I'll try to do another one of these. Um, I'm not sure when. Someday. So let me know if you're interested in any of these products. I'm sure I forgot something. Oh, when I did my hair. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, here it is. I put, I also have the shampoo and conditioner of this. Um... It is for people with thin, fine hair. There we go. Um, it helps it like give it texture, be a little bit more thick. And I use the shampoo and conditioner of this in the shower as well. Um, this is my first like time buying it. So I'll let you know what I think. But so far so good. I mean, my hair is not like falling around. Like normally it just has no life to it. And I can actually... Um, make it like stay now so it's not all flimsy and just fluffy and yeah it'll stay like this all day it won't move around versus if i didn't have product in it um so that's all for now i'm sure i forgot a lot of stuff but i'll try to add it some other time and i will see you guys again soon okay bye